Today's an exciting day because we just received the truck. Every year we are tasked with doing a new SEMA project. This year we're doing the 2022 Tundra and we're going the off-road theme. First impression, hood's pretty long on it. Our team is the first ones who have received this vehicle. I see hybrid. Check out rear suspension on this. They're using a four link with coil springs instead of the old leaf springs. Cool to see for, I think, the project that we're gonna be doing. My vision for this vehicle is to do a pre-runner chase truck, but still have it legal on the streets. So it's gonna be everything about durability, toughness, all the different things that are involved with off-road. It's radically different. I mean, radically different from the old. This is not a, a, a makeover. It's a complete redesign from what I can see. There's two things that surprise me. The amount of room in the back seat is insanely huge. And then the other part was under the hood, having the hybrid motor with a truck was pretty awesome to see, but also unexpected, along with the, the rear end being a four link now. Pretty exciting to be able to do a little bit more without as much modification, I guess you could say. So we pulled the engine cover off. You can see the intercooler right there. You can see the inlets, the air inlets, and they're a nice hard composite. So obviously there's two turbos down there. So we're, we're looking at the renderings of what we're going to do in the back of the new TRD Pro, a side profile view of what we're hoping. It'll look pretty slick, follow the roof line up a little bit, follow the C pillars. There's the actuator for the lights. Hit the button, this thing starts pulling in against each other and those lights start going up. So we want something modular that'll fit in a five and a half foot bed. It'd be really nice to be able to just say, all you have to do is pick this up, pull your bed bolts out, bolt it down, and now you have a complete system. As for suspension, we're gonna do some really cool coilovers, remote reservoir, wheels and tires on this. We're definitely gonna go rugged on wheels and tires also. Picture a 37 inch wheel tire package inside of here. The interior of this vehicle is pretty sweet. For me, this is really exciting because uh, it brings me back to my roots. I was a 21-year-old kid and got my first job in racing, and that was with Toyota's off-road racing program with Ivan Stewart. And I learned so much about off-road. And so being able to go back and circle back around 35 years later and build an off-road truck again is, is pretty exciting. As far as challenges go, we're gonna have the same problems that we have almost every year at SEMA, and that's the time. You could give me a deadline that's three and a half years from now, and we're still gonna figure out a way to use every one of those minutes up until the end and still have to do all-nighters at the end. Well, we're here today with the 2022 TRD Pro Tundra SEMA build. We're building an elaborate chase package. In the bed of the truck right now, we actually have the complete structure that will not only hold all the different things you'd want for chasing, but it also bolts directly to the bed bolts. So you pull out six bolts, you put this in, and then you start adding your equipment to it. The jack there is a big wheel jack. One easy half turn, boom, pull your jack out and slide it right out the back. ARB tread pros mounted on the side. So if you were to get stuck in some terrible silt, you'd be able to pull them off, easy access. They're right behind the driver's door. I'm going to make a front mount for the sand tracks on the side. We're using cardboard so we're not wasting material. So I can cut this with scissors, make my template, get it to look like how we want it to look first before we start cutting the metal. We're waiting on the wheels still. So it'll hold two tires in the upright position. That's the chase vehicle part of it. The other part of this vehicle is we're working hand in hand with Toyota Racing Development to develop a long travel kit for it. So we have an upper and lower control arm that'll space the wheels out probably about two inches. We'll need to extend this guy right here, either with longer arms here, longer tie rods, It'll come with a brand new shock package. It'll probably lift the truck up about two inches in the front. We're also doing rear springs on this vehicle. This is a stage one on the, the prototyping. There is a finite launch window. 
They're not gonna move the SEMA show for us because we say, hey, we need a couple more days. There's still a lot of long nights in front of us, but it's worth it because when the end product is what I think it's gonna be, then you just feel good about what you did. The philosophy we're taking on this build is we wanna make a nice chase package for this truck, but we also want it to be something that doesn't do any damage to the vehicle. So literally everything is engineered, built, and it all bolts down to the six bed bolts. In general, we're getting pretty close. So we've been working with TRD on this build as well, and they were able to get some molds made for the fenders that we got, and they seem to fit the truck very well. Probably one of the better ones that I've seen to be able to fit fiberglass on a truck. One of the tricky things was having the gas door still work. So we actually took some of the stock mechanism, cut it out the side of the bed, epoxied that back onto it, and so now it opens just like a stock one. We're getting brake lines made right now because obviously we have a whole lot more travel. This is a TRD, first of its kind, long travel suspension. It utilizes the stock upright, which is aluminum now. Pretty neat deal right there. Most of the rear end is stock, but we did go with some remote reservoir rear shocks. We want to be able to maximize our travel in this vehicle. In the front grille, some of the clips were broke out and it was kind of sagging, so we've been having to kind of play with that to get it back to where it is acceptable for us for fitting. The TRD does make a skid plate for this truck, but it does not accommodate the new bumper that we have going on the truck. So what we're actually going to do is try and accommodate that skid plate basically here to here, and then our skid plate will go from here to here. So we'll kind of make them, I think, best of both worlds. These are all your light switches. And then there's the radio. So everything is really, really thought out and slick. We'll have two spares, 37 inch general grabbers. We won't have as much travel as a trophy truck would, but we do have a hybrid motor, a V6 with twin turbos in it. I think this is gonna be an amazing vehicle for off-road use. I think it'll hold its own at Seaman. I think, I think a lot of people are gonna be impressed and I think a lot of people are waiting for Toyota to build something of this stature.